Hello, all of my beautiful Aquarius Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign friends. My name is LeChong with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your mid May 2018 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who have thumbs up and liked my videos. Thank you to all of those who have commented and shared my videos, and thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. I appreciate the support from you all so much. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. For those of you who had been trying to book a reading through my website and were having some difficulties, there was a glitch there, but it has been resolved. So again, you can visit my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. Under the readings tab, there is a list of all the readings that I currently offer. So you can go ahead and check that out. Book a reading with me there. You can also contact me through my website. You can also contact me at any time through the Instant Go app if you have any questions. And the link for that is www.instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. And the Instant Go app is free and available through iOS. So that is for those of you who have an iPhone or an iPad. Both links to my website as well as my Instant Go are in the description box below, so please go ahead and check that out. Also, if you Aquarius are single and you would like to know who your future long-term romantic partner is, including details such as when and where you'll meet this person, what this person will look like, how to recognize him or her, as well as align yourself with this person and the relationship of your dreams, you can go ahead and book a future partner reading with me or an extended future partner reading with me through my website and now straight through the description box below. So go ahead and check that out. You can also book a 10, 20 or 30 minute reading with me straight through the description box below as well. So again, please check that out. These are general readings, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. If they do not resonate with you, please check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may. And if these messages do resonate, you can check your moon, sun, and rising sign videos in order to gain a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the ending portion of May 2018. Alrighty, so my lovely, lovely water bears, let's go ahead and get started on your reading. So, excuse me. Okay. I have three cards here for the overall energy of your love life during the ending portion of May 2018. I have here two predictions and then I will go ahead and get into your guidance. And I did get some new cards that I got for you guys uh, for these general readings. I got them yesterday. So I did add these cards into your reading. So um, let me know how you like these cards. Um, I'm interested in finding out. And these are the empowerment cards that we will see at the end of the reading. So again, leave a uh, comment in the description box below. Let me know how you like these cards and I'll see about, you know, switching some cards around or using them in my reading. So let's go ahead and get started. And then again, I do again, um, or I have a postcard from Spirit for you at the very end. So let's get into it. So for your overall energy of your love life, uh, Aquarius, during the ending portion of May 2018, I have here three cards of, these are actually very good cards, all very beautiful cards. Flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here beautiful beautiful and i have here attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so these are actually pretty positive cards here i'm noticing at the bottom of the deck i have a card here of forgiving and learning as you release and heal as you release and heal the past your experiences make love, I'm sorry, your experience, you experience more love in your present moments. I guess I can't read <laughs> backwards or maybe or I can, but you know, not well. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Okay. Some of you are being called to make the effort to express your love as well and be playful in your love life. Uh, okay, so let's see how this resonates. So again, chemistry, flirt, attraction. So for some of you, this is speaking of being mindful about what kind of energy you are attracting in your love life. Because when I see this attraction card, I 
you know, it can mean, yes, attraction to another person, attraction to another individual. Nevertheless, I usually interpret this card as what you are attracting into your life at this moment, what you are bringing into your life by your thoughts, by your actions. So this is speaking of you attracting love into your life or a higher, you know, type of love into your life by your actions, by your thoughts, by your energy. So you are attracting love into your life by enjoying this moment fully you are attracting love into your life by being positive by you know having a high energy by believing that love is yours and that love is on its way to you are attracting it to you so for some of you i'm looking at this car and i'm seeing this woman and she's um smelling these these roses so for some of you you could feel as though there was a lack of love in your life because i'm thinking of you know at some point this rose is not in bloom this rose you know is still a, a rosebud and it's it's blooming so for some of you you could have felt as though you had the potential for love or you know you had a situation there where you may have had a, con a connection with somebody but um now it looks like you know at this time the love is blooming or or you know whatever you have in your life now is blooming or this is saying to um allow your love life to bloom so again there could have been a situation where there wasn't the kind of love that you saw that you desired or love was not um in full bloom so to speak in your life and right now you're being called to allow yourself to bloom allow these thoughts to uh bloom and again you attract love into your life by enjoying this moment so you're being called to again extend your lighthearted energy to others so you may be flirting with others during the ending portion of may um you may have reasons to flirt so somebody may be coming into your life and bringing some flirtatious energy or you have the opportunity to flirt with this person and you do have a strong magnetic attraction with another individual there is strong chemistry between you and another individual. So let's go ahead and see how this in uh, how this energy rather plays out in your love lives as we move forward with your reading and with your predictions. So for your first prediction with my Lenormand cards, I actually have kind of here more cards than usual, just because I was called for some reason during this particular reading to uh, go ahead and pull more cards. So let's see what we have. I have here the coffin. I have here we have Angelina Jolie, the beautiful Miss Angelina Jolie with the snake. And then I have here my favorite boat. I love this boat. Uh, this boat is called the SS Ecstasy. And this is the ship. So again, I was called to pull and and take a uh, notice of the cards on the top and the bottom of the deck so on the top of the deck we have here uh we have dorothy here with the roads in the house of the lady and we have the lady here with the lady on the bottom of the deck the cross um and this cross card is in the house of this is my beautiful front yard here with the mountain we have the cross in the house of the mountain and i do have some additional cards here so we'll go ahead and get into these cards um you know throughout this uh prediction here so for this first prediction um i'm seeing here oops i'm dropping cards okay so for this first prediction i'm seeing here a situation where many of you are dealing with somebody are you in a you are in a situation rather where it looks like somebody is being very sneaky or um cunning somebody's being not cunning but sneaky somebody may be lying somebody may be cheating somebody may be envious of you and not really showing it there could be betrayal um stealing you know this snake card is a very very challenging card okay so somebody has this type of energy 
I'm noticing here by this snake card and we have the Rhodes card here this is signifying that some of you are in a situation where there are two people who are in love with a certain person or this could deal with two people both um, being attracted to or wanting or being connected to a particular person so this can speak of a third party situation or two people again wanting um, the the same individual so I do see here again this snake card speaks of um, lying envy betrayal um, dishonesty manipulation hidden agendas as well this is a large card of hidden agendas here so I see here that whatever the situation is with this challenging energy is going to be coming to an end so this cross I mean this coffin card here rather is a card of endings you know something's coming to an end something is coming to a, a halt something coming to a completion something is stopping so it looks like some of you are potentially um, ending a relationship with somebody then you could be um, flirting and, and, and attracting a better you know uh, more fulfilling relationship with another individual but I do see here again, you guys, some of you are going to be ending this challenging energy that you have with this person who was a snake, that you have with this person who is dishonest, that you have with this person who may have betrayed you in some way, shape, or form. And it looks like you're going to be either moving away from this energy, so there's going to be an ending to this connection with this snake or an ending to these lies to this uh to this betrayal to this um cheating and things like that and somebody's going to be moving forward somebody's going to be moving on some of you could be experiencing this challenging relationship with a lover who is a different race culture or ethnicity than you are this could be somebody who is um maybe has dark hair in some cases not all but in some cases this is somebody who has dark hair this is somebody who can be tan this is somebody who can be um, exotic looking um, this can also be somebody of Asian uh, African American or Mediterranean descent but in any way this takes place this could be some this could be not always somebody of a different culture race ethnic, ethnicity than you are as well but I do see here that many of you are going to be leaving behind this um, situation where or ending this situation where there was some challenging energy, uh, where there was this manipulation and abuse. Some of you could be leaving this and moving into another situation again. So um, let's go with the bottom of the deck here on the bottom of the deck here. Again, I have the cross card here. This is in the house of the mountain. So taking this spread together this cross card in the house of the mountain and then let me say this on the other side of this cross card i do have the scythe okay then i have the dog the anchor as well as the gentleman so considering this situation here i'm seeing again um many of you could be in a challenging situation with a particular individual taking this lady in this rose card on the top for many of you there could have been a woman um who was um not faithful in this situation because this rose card can speak of infidelity um you know when it's usually next to a person card which in this situation it is it's a warning that somebody may have been um you know stepping out of the relationship somebody may have uh, not been um loyal in this situation then this person may have two different options or two different people so for many of you you could be in a situation where there was a woman who um was uh, you know, not honest and may have stepped out of the relationship. Um, you know, infidelity may have taken place or because this is a general reading, this could be you, um, and you could be this. Okay. So you could be this woman who, um, you know, was, uh, stepping out of the relationship. It could have been a woman who you were dealing with who stepped out of the relationship, or you could have cheated on this woman. So for some of you, it could be that um, this woman here, uh, you as this woman here, as this lady, you may have to make some kind of big decision to walk away from this situation or to end the situation again because of some infidelity. So this is going to resonate in different ways depending on your situation. But again, I do see here some problems here and some challenges, but there's going to be a sudden ending or a severing to this ending with this scythe card 
with this scythe card there's going to be a severing to these challenges rather not to this ending but a severing rather to these challenges to these burdens to you know this situation um so somebody's going to cut the situation again a severing of this tie a severing of these challenges the challenges are being cut from the situation and for many of you this could be a situation where you are either this male or you are involved with a male who you have been with for a long time who is somebody um who you know you have been you may have been loyal to this person or there was some kind of loyalty or fidelity in this situation some kind of way so on somebody's behalf um or it could be that this male, if you are a female, um, or if you're a male and you date the same sex, this male could have made you feel tied down. Um, you could have felt, again, very tied down in this situation, like you're being dragged down in this situation. This situation could have been very exhausting for you in some kind of way. Um, but I see a person who was there, there was likely a strong relationship with or a strong bond with, a connection with. But I do see here the situation is being cut. Um, and these challenges and things are being cut. So somebody is moving forward. Um, um, somebody is letting the ship sail for this relationship um, but again I do see here somebody could again be making the decision to make the ship sail or there could have been some infidelity on behalf of this woman however this resonates with you but that is the current situation that I see um, regarding this circumstance so let's go ahead and move forward with your second prediction and we'll see uh, how this energy resonates here let me just move these to the side. All right. <clears throat> so for your second prediction, Aquarius, um, I am using my predictions cards here. So when I was shuffling the deck, I had a card of joy and happiness um, come out for the deck. So it looks like however this situation resonates, you will be experiencing some happiness. You will be experiencing some positive feelings. You will be experiencing some joy. So it could be that leaving this situation may cause you to feel some joy, perhaps because of this forgiving and this learning. Um, but however this resonates with you, it looks like things will end on a positive note or there will be a positive energy surrounding this situation regardless of you know how it plays out. And it looks like many of you are going to be learning about something um you could be learning about codependency in a relationship and maybe things not being as they seem but i do see here some learning of some kind of lessons or you could be learning about some key um information but you will be learning i'm taking this most likely as lessons but again it could be learning about something regarding this other individual such as this infidelity if you didn't already know about it before moving forward so for your second prediction i see here in the uh past it looks like there was a situation where there may have been some slow movement in your relationship or things kind of stagnated or things kind of you know they weren't right in the relationship they they the the energy of the relationship may have shifted because of a third party situation so again um this infidelity here we have somebody um who stepped out of the relationship whether this be you Aquarius or the other person but it does look like somebody had entered this relationship causing it to become a third party situation for some of you it could even be that you know there was family or something like that um interfering with the relationship for example your partner's family members or partner's friends or something like that but for most of you I'm picking up again a romantic situation so for others of you, it could be that your significant other, you were in a third party situation that was moving slowly. Um, but I do see again, some of you are in a third party situation. Nevertheless, somebody was moving forward from this situation. So there was lies, there was deception, there was trickery in the situation and somebody is moving forward from this third party situation. So you're exiting this third party situation. You're moving forward past the lies, past the cheating, past the infidelity, past the uh, deception and things like that. You know, and that's that snake card here, the lies and deceit. That's that snake card here, the trickery right here, all hidden agendas, ulterior motives and things like that. So you are again moving forward here from the lies from the cheating from the trickery you are ending this situation right because i do see here that somebody is going to be or somebody has been left in the cold so there's been an ending again to the situation um again there is some type of severing 
to this tie so somebody has been left in the cold and this may make this may have made you um aquarius feel more positive about the situation from leaving this person in the cold perhaps you know you feeling better because you're not going to allow this energy in your life anymore or however this resonates with you because this is a general reading and this can resonate in different ways but i do see here a situation where um there was some kind of there is has been some kind of wish granted some kind of positive outcome for many of you that has come from leaving somebody in the cold so somebody has been left in the cold and it could be causing somebody to feel a lot of uh confusion um you know it could have been that many of you were in a situation where this situation maybe leaving the person in the cold for example caused the other party um so whoever was left behind the other person who was left behind could have started to chase after or pine after or you know stalk or do whatever they needed to do in order to try to rekindle the relationship with you if you were the one who left the person in the cold or again the situation vice versa because this is in general reading but i do see here a situation where somebody could have been chasing after the other person or somebody could have been really really determined to um change the direction of this connection because you know there may have been some confusion surrounding this situation or some distorted thinking surrounding the situation but somebody wanted to change the direction of this relationship and somebody could have taken the action taken the step taken made the effort to change the direction in this relationship and this could have been from again leaving the person in the cold moving forward from this challenging energy here so right now i see a situation where it could be many of you are a younger female or if you're in a same-sex relationship just a younger more feminine energy in your connection and you could have been the one who was more loyal um who practiced fidelity and things like that in this situation um you know who was loyal and and because this dog card here speaks of loyalty speaks of fidelity things like that so um you could have been the younger female in this situation who was very loyal or the younger feminine energy in this situation who was loyal um or you could have been dealing with a female who was the loyal one and this could resonate in many different ways but it looks like um whatever happened here or whatever is happening right now it looks like this is destined the situation is faded in order for you to learn some kind of lessons again in order for you to learn some kind of lessons in order for you to maybe learn about codependent dynamics within your relationship so moving forward you can transcend those patterns and you can eliminate that aspect from your relationships in order to attain and achieve a uh, more higher vibrating happy healthy relationships with happy healthy you know honest trustworthy transparent partners so i'm seeing here again that all is well in this situation so some of you could be dealing with a soulmate at this time um there could have been a soulmate that came in your life following leaving somebody in the cold for some of you but again i do see here a situation where so some of you could have left somebody in the cold and now you're dealing with a new individual now you could be dealing with a soulmate um or it could be that you created this third party situation dealing with um somebody else on this soulmate however this resonates but again i do see your soulmate energy and i see things being well with this soulmate energy so this is regardless of this is a new person in your life and now you feel as though you know the the dynamics between you and this new person are well you know are good and everything's all good because this is a, a new energy in your life or things could be all well just within you and you feel better and you feel like you you know um things are good Good because of leaving this person um i'm not really feeling as though the things are better with that person who there was a third party situation with or the person who was left in the cold i feel as though they have been left in the cold but again this can resonate in different ways and this will resonate in different ways for all of you so um again i'm seeing here an energy of joy and happiness an energy of things being positive and things uh, an energy of all being you know hunky dory everything's well everything's all good within your romantic connection within your love life right now or just the way you feel is positive so i'm seeing here moving forward so this can be in the third week of may or this can be following this energy whenever you're watching this I see a situation where many of you who are going through dark night of the soul because of this situation, you were going, you were confronting the shadow within, you were experiencing some challenging energy. You know, there could have been sadness, um, depression, you know, pain, um, muddled thoughts, whatever you were experiencing in this dark night of the soul energy. It looks like this is going to be improving because it could be that you, um, as this female you as this more feminine energy you could have matured you have, could have gained some insight or gained some wisdom in this situation regarding your love life or regarding showing love
Or there could be improvements in your love life with somebody showing love to you, showing romantic gestures to you. And this causes improvements within your love life. But I do see here moving forward. So going towards the very end of May, going into June or just following this energy here. Um, many of you guys are going to have doubts, have uh, you know, feelings of uncertainty regarding this toxic connection that was here in the beginning, this toxic connection that we have been discussing. So many of you, again, you may be, you may be experiencing some doubt and certainly regarding this toxic connection and the dynamics of this relationship, causing you to, again, learn some lessons here. So I see some learning of some karmic lessons, and it looks like many of you are dealing with a karmic partner. So a karmic partner is somebody who comes in our life in order to help us uh, learn something. A lot of the times in karmic partnerships, it does not, you know, the relationship isn't always the best kind of dynamic because this person comes into our life so we can clear karmic debt. And so they can clear karmic debt. So so there's some lessons that needs to be that need to be learned. There's some transcendence within ourselves that needs to be learned. There's something that needs to be highlighted within us that we couldn't see prior to entering a relationship with this person that is put on display as we go into relationship with this person. So this aspect, so whatever this is, can be again transcendent, can be healed, can can be um, altered. This pattern or this belief or whatever it is, but the purpose of karmic partners is to help us learn and move forward clear some karmic debt up so we can move forward in our lives in a happy healthy way so again many of you are dealing with a karmic partner um, where you have this toxic relationship with but it looks like moving forward from that some of you could be um, reconnecting or connecting with or meeting or you know meeting up with again your twin flame so a twin flame is this is going to be a very significant very important relationship coming on the other side and usually it's after we learn these karmic lessons that we can connect with our twin flame so that's a very wonderful thing so a twin flame for those of you who um you know i'm not going to get too much into it so if you know you're dealing with the twin flame then you know this is speaking to you um a twin flame is somebody who we have a very very strong relationship connection with because they're the other halves of our soul and we follow this person throughout lifetimes in order to come together we have to learn a bunch of lessons Lessons. We have to come to a certain place, whether this be through lifetimes, you know, you learn lessons through lifetimes in order to come together with this person in the, you know, in the right lifetime, in the right timing. So some of you could be learning these lessons, which could be putting you in the arms of your twin flame, or it could be that your twin flame may start showing love towards you following learning these karmic lessons. Because once these karmic lessons are learned, whatever was keeping your connection from your twin flame from coming about these, you know, this this uh, aspect will be released, you know, in order for your connection to come in, in order for your relationship to come in. So towards the end of May, once again, some of you could be entering a very, very significant relationship. Um, or if you are in contact with somebody or during the end of May, if you feel a very strong energy towards somebody or very strong attraction, again, a very strong attraction. If you feel a lot of uh, chemistry with somebody towards the end of May, pay attention to that because that could be a very significant relationship for you. Alrighty, uh, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and move forward into your guidance here. So for your guidance from my uh, uh, Crystal Angels deck, I have here two cards of Tanzanite saying that you are ready to love again. Aquarius says, so you've healed from the past. You've learned your lessons. There's been a lot of lessons that you've experienced. You've learned your lessons. And now again, you can move forward within your love life. So you're ready to love again. You've healed from the past enough to open your heart to new love. So open your heart up to new love and whatever love comes to you during the ending portion of May, whether this be, excuse me, whether this be self-love or love from another individual know that your heart you know keep your heart open you are ready to love again you have learned the lessons that you need to that you needed to learn so now you can move forward in order to bring a fulfilling romantic relationship to you and then i have here rubelite and this says passion and purpose your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart because this is a love life a love reading rather this is speaking of uh your enthusiasm your um good faith i'm hearing your you know what you're attracting to yourself Ooh, wrong, wrong card what you're attracting to yourself so um you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so by enjoying this moment fully by releasing and healing the past 
um, by making the efforts to move forward in your love life. It looks like all this is giving you the energy and giving you the motivation to attract the love that you desire into your love life, into your life in general. So very, very excellent. All right, so let's move forward with uh, your wisdom of the Oracle um, guidance here. And all these cards came up in the upright, so that's a good energy here. So let's see. The first card that I have here is number 21. Clean it up. I have a number 42. Chop wood. I have here number 45. Time to go. As well as number 39 new life so taking these four cards together this clean it up card here number 21 on the bottom of the deck here um, the overall energy this says that again many of you are going to be clearing something out of your life something is going to be coming to an end within your love life during the ending portion of may so this could be cleaning um you know a person place thing beliefs patterns holding on to somebody if so this is clearing something out of your life and know that let's see this is number 21 so this speaks of progression moving forward um so you could be again progressing moving forward in your love life and in order to move forward it could be necessary for you to let go and clean up a particular energy so clean something out of your life so the wonderful thing is when we clean things out of our lives when we you know clear challenging energy out of our life that allows something more beautiful to come in and take its place for example you could be going through a challenge even you know with a friend for example going through a challenge with a friend or somebody who you believe is a friend and then you recognize that maybe this person isn't a friend because of maybe the way that they treated you or something like that and you know you decide to clear this person out of your life and then lo and behold you know that same day the next day an old friend comes back into your life or a new friend comes back comes into your life so this is the same thing in relationships you know one uh a new train can't come in before the first one leaves the station you know a new greyhound's not going to come in before the first one leaves the first one has to take off so it's necessary to clean some kind of challenging dark energy some kind of um you know burdensome energy if somebody's making you feel tied down it's best to clean these these energies out of your life because if a fulfilling relationship if a loving romantic relationship is that you know is what you seek and you are not receiving that at this moment you have to clear out that energy that is not allowing your relationship or allowing that fulfilling love that you seek to come in it's like you know it's like somebody who's involved in a relationship with somebody who um you know could be a narcissist for example and this person is saying nobody's gonna love you like me nobody's gonna be with you or you know you're not you're not good enough or something like that and you know you can only be with me i'm not letting you go you know things like that and it's interesting because once you actually let that challenge challenging energy go and let that person who put you in a third party situation or let that unfaithful person go once you let that go you know then you, you know it's like something beautiful opens up and the person that you actually seek will then come to you and then you'll realize you know how important it was to let that other person go because that person could be dragging down your energy you know that person can be dragging down your energy and causing you to make decisions that will not allow you to move forward and attain what it is that you want so moving forward i have her number 42 chop wood and this card here speaks of paying attention to everyday things so during the ending portion of may it could be a good idea to pay attention to your everyday duties and tasks you know sweeping vacuuming mopping um taking care of the kids you know going and running errands whatever it is that you need to do this is a six energy so this is just attaining and holding on to harmony seek harmony and happiness and joy within your love life and know that you can attain that you know if you shift your energy into something more positive release challenging energy release challenging individuals and shift your life shift your perspective to that which is more positive or that which is more beneficial for you so chop wood pay attention to the everyday things going on in life and that will allow you to distract yourself from whatever challenges that you are experiencing and we have here number 45 in the center and this is a, the card of time to go this is a number nine energy so again this is speaking of some type of ending here this is speaking of some type of ending and with this card it says that you know chasing after that which flees from you chasing after fleeting love um chasing after 
situations where you're not getting what it is that you want, need, desire. There's nothing romantic. There's nothing cute. There's nothing attractive. There's nothing happy and exciting about that thing. You, I'm, 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 I mean, excuse me, about doing that, about those actions. Chasing after what flees from you is not fun, is not romantic. You know, unrequited love is not romantic. Being in a situation where somebody is giving their attention to somebody else when you're supposed to be in a, um, you know, monogamous or be in a um, committed partnership, you know, being a one-on-one -on -one partnership um, or however, you know, because not everybody chooses monogamy, but you're supposed to be in a committed a committed partnership and somebody else is sharing their energy with somebody else or lying to you about or being cheat or, you know being uh, manipulative or however that is you know those kind of aspects are not romantic are not fulfilling you know this is unhealthy this is a toxic connection here so it could be a good idea to end the situation to walk away to move forward in order to bring in a more beneficial energy for you but if something is not working and for example if you've made every attempt if you've made every attempt to make this action happen if you made every attempt to bring in this relationship it is not occurring in the way that you want you're not receiving what it is that you want know that rejection is God's protection and if that is so then this is a situation that is not meant for you and you're being guided here to walk away and leave the situation move on to something better it could be challenging I'm hearing to go into the unknown to go into you know move forward and and it could, again it could be challenging for some of you to step into the unknown especially if you've been with this person for a significant period of time this is a card of longevity longevity if you've been with this person for a significant period of time it could be challenging to step into the unknown um, whether this be single life or a new relationship you know but know that again this is what is meant for you you know there's something better there's something more for you once you step out into the unknown once you move forward and decide to go after what it is that you deserve and then i have here number 39 again new life so this is uh 12 energy so this is a three energy of progression again progression just like this 21 card progression moving forward um transitions and things like that so this says that as you continue to move forward in your life um aquarius know that you know you are awakening into a brand new life so you could be leaving the situation cleaning things out of your life you're ready to love again and you are awakening into a brand new wonderful beautiful life be gentle with yourself as you awaken into this new life but know that you are receiving brand new opportunities brand new um you know wonderful experiences are on their way to you so you could be feeling as though you have been asleep all winter and you are waking up into the springtime you know this this little fairy here she has been asleep and she is now awakening and it is now the springtime so love is in full bloom opportunities is in uh, opportunities are in full bloom you know fulfillment is in full bloom so you have a very very special energy coming to you at this time during the any portion of may so keep uh you know keep an eye out for that know that you are again awakening to a beautiful new life that is going to benefit you in ways that you cannot imagine or perceive at this time but first leaving behind the old must be done in order to attain this new life because you know we can't do the same thing over and over and expect a different result we can't stay in the same situation and expect for what it is that we want to come about you know if we can see that this isn't happening you know especially because we can't control other people we can't control how they think how they feel and what they do so if they're not providing us with what we want we have to go into a new situation where we are able to attain and achieve and receive what it is that we want so you're waking up again into a new life you're moving forward to beautiful new energy in the ending portion of may um water bears so the three cards that i have for you so this is my new deck here and this is my um empowerment cards so the three cards that i have for you here are the first card is discernment and this says see the truth of the situation use common sense don't be fooled pay attention your intuition no so use your discernment use your higher self to tell you what's really going on in this situation especially if things seem hidden or especially if you know somebody's telling you one thing but you feel something you know you may be feeling as though this person's being dishonest with you you may be feeling as though this person's in a third party situation you may be feeling as though this person isn't you know providing you what it is that you want 
or you need, but this other person could be saying, you know, that's not true, or I am doing this, or, you know, I'm not doing this. And it's a saying, you know best, you know best. So use that intuition, use that discernment, go with your gut feeling, see the truth of the situation, pay attention to how you truly feel, you know, because what you feel is an indicator of the situation. Because if you are feeling negative, if you are feeling low, if you're feeling upset, you wouldn't be feeling that way if you didn't have a viable reason to have those emotions. So use your discernment, see the truth, use common sense, and don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by the snake here. This is somebody who's trying to fool you. Don't be fooled. Pay attention. Your intuition knows what is right. You know better than what another person is telling you. You know, it's interesting because sometimes we like to you know, we know something, we have a feeling about something, and we may ask the other person, hey, what's going on with this? Hey, is this true? Hey, I'm feeling like this. You know, is this true? And the other person's like, no, but that's not true, you know? So pay attention to how you feel because you feel the way you do for a certain reason. You wouldn't feel that way if there was no reason to, if you are feeling a challenging energy here. And then this says, dreamer, your dreams have chosen you, find fulfillment, in pursuing your destiny this is a magic of life so again if you want a romantic relationship if you're dreaming of authentic love if you're dreaming of a fulfilling love if you're dreaming of a particular type of relationship or particular circumstances your dreams have chosen you because that's what it is that you deserve that's what it is you know that's that's for you you know a lot of times, you know, when we feel something, when we dream about something, when there's something that's important to us, that could be spirit, God, universe, your higher power saying that, hey, this is for you. For example, if we all of a sudden feel like, hey, I want to start a career, you know, or something, hey, I want to write a book, you know, that could be, and you, you know, you have dreams about it all, oh, I want to do this. That can be spirit, God, universe providing you with that insight in order for you to achieve something and attain this beautiful thing. So know that your dreams have chosen you find fulfillment in pursuing your destiny find fulfillment in the journey you know in life it's not about the destination it's about the journey and every step that we take along the way so this is the magic of life you know the magic of life comes in the small still moments of happiness the small moments of happiness you know the everyday moments of happiness the simple things pay attention to you know the 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 simple things the small things that bring happiness pay attention to what it is that you truly want and desire because these things are the magic of life and then i have here love i have here love listen to your heart embrace what makes you happy there are one million reasons to love again listen to your heart you know if somebody new comes to you or if you want to move forward to your twin flame if you want to move forward to a fulfilling relationship listen to your heart and embrace what makes you happy do more of what makes you happy as opposed to what makes you unhappy you know go towards that and that's how you can achieve happiness in your life go towards what makes you happy I just saw 4141 on the clock here meaning um, angelic healing here and a new beginning angelic healing and a new beginning or it can be stability stability coming to your love life once you make a new beginning in your life so those are the uh empowerment messages that i have for you so again listen to your heart you know you're lovable love is available to you we just have to leave behind some energy that is less than love leave behind some energy that is the opposite of love you know and move forward into happiness wholeness into a loving situation so the postcard from spirit that I have here for you, and this will go ahead and wrap up your reading. It says, and this is actually, this is actually the card that came up during my Capricorn reading. So if you have a, re and I shuffle them very, very thoroughly in between, this card actually flew out, you know, with a vengeance. So if you have any signs in Capricorn, or if you are in a connection with the Capricorn, it could be a good idea to read that uh, or to um, watch that reading as well. So this says, Dear it's wonderful for you to help you manifest, uh, to help you manifest a life for the highest good. We invite you to examine your deepest desires. Imagine all your desires, no matter what kind, like magic seed pods in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. You know, this reminds you of this card where it says, again, passion and purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's dear to your heart. So bringing about love, cultivating love. Again, we want love to bloom and blossom. So again, to help you manifest a life of the highest good, we invite you to examine your deepest desires examine your deepest desires no matter what kind 
Like magic seed pies in a basket, glowing with infinite potential. Look closely at each one. Are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention and invite negative reactions from others? It's changed too daunting, so it's leaving the situation behind. It's cleaning up the thoughts, patterns, people, places, things that no longer serve you, and um, moving forward and leaving. Is this? Does this seem too daunting for you? Does this seem scary? Maybe you don't know what's on the other side of this and you're afraid that you're not going to be able to find happiness or, you know, uh, fulfillment on the other side for some of you. But this is saying, again, um, are you afraid that some may bring you too much attention or bite negative reactions for others? Is change too daunting? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Are you afraid to step into this new life that you have here for you? Are you afraid to stretch and grow? Let yourself be led forward and let the seeds of positive intention take to the wind. Your desires count and you are worthy of them. They are essential for co-creating your world. Did you ever consider that when a desire comes from deep within you, it might be spirit moving you to create something beautiful to share with others. Some desires are infused with miraculous powers to move the heart and influence the world in ways you can't possibly know. And again, you are ready to love again. So keep that in mind. All right. I just saw 4446. Speaking of again, this is big angelic healing here occurring for you this month. A lot of angelic healing here and moving into a space of happiness and harmony and joy within your love life. It says we know you and love you so deeply. And you, I'm sorry, we love, we know you, we know you and love you so deeply and are so happy to support you. All right, my lovely, lovely Aquarius, my water bearing sun, moon, and rising sign friends. Uh, these are the messages that I have for you at this time regarding your love and romantic relationships at the ending portion of May 2018. I hope that I was able to provide you with some useful guidance and messages. Please thumbs up and like this video. If the messages resonate with you, comment. Please share. Let me know how you like these, uh, how you like these empowerment cards here. Let me know how you like them. Um, much love to all of you who like to book a reading with me. You can do so on my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. Contact me through Instant Go. Both links are in the description box below. And book a future partner reading with me now through the description box below. Again, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe to my channel if you not, have not done so already. I love you all, Aquariuses, and I look very forward to seeing you here very, very soon. Mwah! Bye, everyone.